Hello folks, today you will be installing Optimum Realism R12 on your computer. To start, you will need a shader to run Optimum Realism properly in your computer. Once Optimum Realism is installed, you can head over to the shaders. You can either try out the Carpa shader by RRE36 and install the latest version or the CU's PTGI HRR3 by Sonic Ether. Once these are installed, we can head to the Minecraft directory. For this, you need to press Windows plus R. Then type hash add data. Percent time. Head on to .minecraft and go to the resource packs column. Drag Optimum Resin to the resource packs column. We are partially done. Scroll down till you find folder name shader packs. This may or may not be created. You may need to create it manually. Select these and drag them to your shaders. Next, let's open Minecraft. Once you've opened Minecraft, make sure that you've Optifine installed. If Optifine is installed properly on your computer, it will show up in the bottom left corner. Next, click on Options and on Resource Packs. You will see the Resource Packs you downloaded here. Now, head over to Video Settings and Shaders. You will find the shaders that you downloaded right here. For this, we will select on Carpo. Next, click on Shader Options, on Terrain, Parallax of Fusion Mapping, and Unable. Unable Slope Normal Calculation and as well as Step Right Form. If you are on the 512 x version, consider putting the samples at 64. Otherwise, 32 should be sufficient enough. Go to Reflections and turn on Resource Pack Reflections as well as Reflection Capture. This is how the game will look once all the settings are done correctly. Now, you will see the settings for CU's PTGI HRR3. Make sure that the texture resolution is the resolution that you are currently using. In our case, it's 256x. So we will set the texture resolution to 256. Next, click Ray Tracing. Make sure full Ray Trace Reflections is on. Screen space reflection tracing is also on. That's it for CU's PTGI HRR3. This is how your game should look once everything is installed and set up properly. That's it for this video, you have completed your installation, congratulations.